Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2024 and I've got a photo that's boring. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's a photo I took in Prague. Let me just go ahead and show it to you. Here it is. I'd been out that morning shooting on the Charles Bridge, got some amazing photos, had some beautiful light and that sort of thing. And there's still some decent clouds and whatnot in the sky. But, you know, I was just walking back to my hotel. The streets were empty, which I love in European cities. And I like the scene overall but it's kind of boring to be honest and so i thought i would just kind of play around in on one and see if i could come up with something that was a little bit more interesting a little bit more fun uh just kind of get creative and kind of reinvent the photo the great thing about on one is there's tons of filters that allow you to do that sort of thing so i'm gonna go ahead and work on that in this video but i want to show you how the photo started because i have cropped it i did some transform to straighten it photo started like that and um, I, I've already gone and done Brilliance AI, a little bit of tone and color, but no local adjustments and no effects yet. But what I want to do is actually start out with something that's not on either of those tabs. I'm going to do a sky replacement. And when I go to reinvent a photo, sky replacement's a great way to kind of kick start that. So I'm going to get over here to sky replacement and I'm going to click on this sunset. And the one that it defaults to, I actually like quite a bit. Now it's a little much. And so I'm going to take the opacity down to about a 70 or so, kind of reduce a little bit of that intensity. And then over here in the foreground, I'm going to take this down a little bit as well. I'm going to take that down to high 30s. And I'm going to take this distance up actually to about an 80. And so now if you look at the overall change in the photo, there it is before that uh, sky replacement. And there it is now. Obviously, some of the uh, coloring, as you can see down here in the foreground lighting section, picks up a little bit of the color tone of the sky, which I like. I like that a lot about the way they replace skies here. So I feel like I'm off to a good start, but I got a long way to go. And the rest of the video, I'm going to be over here on the effects tab because there's a lot of things I want to do to this photo. So I'm going to start by adding a filter. And one of the things I really love about On One is when you want to mask these filters, you can just come over here and just start highlighting the things that it identifies and clicking them and automatically creating those masks. So I'm basically doing everything but the sky, and I'm going to use HDR look, and it's really just one click. I'm not even making any adjustments to the settings in HDR look. I'm just going to use it the way it lands. So there it is, just a little bit crunchier, and as you can see, it's also a little bit brighter. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go in and do a few more things. Um, the typical approach that I take is usually around light and detail and color. I'm actually doing a little bit more detail first in this one. And that's simply because I kind of want to get it out of the way. For me, the reinvention of a photo is more around light and color than it is detail. So in this case, I'm just kind of doing the detail things first, HDR look, dynamic contrast. And because I chose the sky here, that for me is negative dynamic contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these down and just kind of smooth that out. I'm just kind of softening up the sky and I reduce the opacity of that new sky. I don't want to overwhelm with this crazy, amazing sunset even though it's a beautiful one and it's included in on one, but I just want to soften that up a little bit. And now I feel like I've got a pretty good starting point. And this is where I start getting into shaping the light, which for me is really a big way to go about enhancing the, uh, the overall change in the mood of this photo. So for me, light, when I'm making big light adjustments in on one, I like to use tone enhancer again and again and again. And that's what I'm going to be doing here. Now I'm going to hit M to get into masking. I'm in linear top. I'm going to go ahead and drop this here and I'm going to slightly tilt it and slightly broaden the gradient zone and then slightly shift this down a little bit. So something about like that. And then I'm dropping the exposure about a negative one to one and a half. So something about like that, that looks a lot better to me because before I feel like the foreground was just way too bright. There it is before and there it is now. So having done that, I'm gonna go ahead and get Tone Enhancer again because I'm kind of shaping the light, as I mentioned. So Tone Enhancer, and I'm still in Linear Top. I'm gonna go ahead and drop one here, but I don't want that to be horizontal. I want it vertical, so that's where this little uh, rotation comes in super handy. And all I'm gonna do is essentially darken that right-hand side. I lined up because I kind of like the line of that cement wall kind of leading me to the gentleman that's walking kind of down that narrow stretch of street that's up ahead. But um, the right side with a window and all that, I, mean, I don't really care. It's just kind of there, but um, cropping it uh, makes the composition a little too um, heavy on the left, I feel like. So I'm going to do something about like that. 
And what I want to do here is drop this about a half a stop. Okay, ended up at negative 0.6, so roughly a half stop. But uh, that just darkens that side a little bit, which for me, it's so it was too bright, of course, which is why I darkened it, but it's a little bit distracting, and so I can't make it too dark to really make it look weird, but I, I definitely want to darken it a little bit. So that is done, and I'm going to close that, and I'm actually going to get Tone Enhancer one more time. And this time, I'm going to do change the shape from Gradient. I'm going to get over here into the Vignette, and I'm going to get Vignette, and I'm going to get Edges, and what I want to do is place that right here on this gentleman, and it creates this really big radial around him, and I just need to shrink that pretty significantly. Okay, so maybe a little bit like that, and all I'm going to do is brighten that just a tiny bit. I mean, really, just like a smidge, like a 0.2. So something about like that, just a little bit to brighten him, just a tiny bit. I don't want to overdo it because um, I, I don't want this like bright spot, but I definitely want to brighten him a little bit. Plus, he's in a dark jacket, dark pants, that sort of thing. So I just want to bring a little bit better visibility to him. Uh, and so essentially, after doing my little bit of detail work with HDR Look and Dynamic Contrast, I've now applied Tone Enhancer three different areas just to kind of frame the light a little bit and kind of frame the photo. And so now that I've done that, I'm going to play a little bit with color. And for me, I love color balance. It's absolutely a fantastic tool. And it was a while back when they made these adjustments to have these color wheels, but I absolutely love them. And what I'm going to do is get over here into the shadows and add a little bit of blue into the shadows. And then this is the luminance slider right here. So if I drag that to the right, it gets brighter. And if I kind of cruise the left, it gets a little bit darker. I'm going to go darker and bluer. So I'm just making the shadows darker and bluer. And that's really all that I'm doing. And I don't want to mess anymore with color balance. I like the overall color look, which was set up when I replaced the sky and the foreground lighting that came with it, I think really enhanced the photo. So I'm just going to uh, essentially, I'm playing the colors off of each other. To me, shadows are, by definition, kind of cooler, and highlights can be warmer. And in this case, with that more vibrant, colorful, warm sky and the brighter parts, I, of course, want to make the darker parts a little bit cooler. So it's just a little bit of tug-of-war, if you will, before the uh, between the warm and the cool colors. So overall, there's the look before, and there's a the look now. Just change it a little bit, and it also kind of softens it up, I feel like, which kind of, uh, kind of overall enhances the mood. Now, having done that, I'm going to pop into Sunshine because I really like this tool, and I find myself using it more and more. And uh, in this case, I'm going to use Glow, which I think just has a beautiful impact on the photo. I like that quite a bit. Uh, but I'm going to pull the opacity down to about, you know, mid-70s, 78. I think that's fine. All I want to do is just create a little bit of that kind of glow and that sunshine look. I might add a tiny bit of warmth. I, I don't want to overdo it with color, but it adds a nice little bit of mood, I think, to the photo. So if you look at the before, it's a little bit flatter, if you will, and a little bit darker. And this sunshine filter adds a nice little pop, a little bit brighter in the brighter parts. And so I think that accentuates and kind of complements what's going on in that sky that I added. So that sunshine filter, I like that one quite a bit. And then this is it, really, a simple, straightforward workflow. I'm going to get one more filter. And it's Tone Enhancer. And again, it's just because I really like the use of Tone Enhancer to play with the light. Uh, in this case, I'm going to actually go into these styles. And the one I'm going to use is Midtones Lighter. So I'm going to go right there. Boom. Grab that. And uh, I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 70 or so. There it is. has a nice little impact on the photo. And then I'm also going to go into the Curves section here and get the blue and drag these shadows a little bit bluer, kind of complementing what I did with color balance earlier. Oops, that's warmer. Uh, you got to pay attention to which way you're going. So I'm going to do a little bit like that. Uh, again, shadows to me are darker, which means cooler to me kind of mentally. So I'm doing a little bit of that here. And then what I'm going to go do is actually add a luminosity mask for this filter. So that's this little light bulb here. So boom. Go ahead and click to turn that on, and you can see how it impacted the photo. Now, if you look at the mask, the mask looks like that. What I actually want is the opposite. So I'm going to invert that so that more of this tool, this tone enhancer, is going into the other areas. Let me flip it, and you can see. So there you go. Uh, that's really what it's going to look like. Let me turn this off. And if I look at tone enhancer before and after, so here's the before. There you go. It's pretty subtle overall. But uh, that's before I did Tone Enhancer with the uh, the preset and the adjustments to curves and the luminosity mask. And now that I've turned, uh, clicked that back on, you can see it gets a little bit bluer. And I actually think I take take that 70 down a little bit more to maybe 60 or 55. It's one of the things I love. I love com um, combining luminosity masks 
and then opacity and just kind of plan with the light and the color and the mood overall. So I'm really done with the masking menu and I'm done with this tone enhancer and I'm really done with the photo. So let me show you this overall difference that we made in the photo. If you look at the before, quite a bit flatter, a little bit more kind of uh, pale or almost kind of yellow in some of the buildings and a bluer sky and uh, just too dark in a lot of areas. And now a lot more vibrant, a lot more visible uh, visibility really in the darker parts of the photo with some color adjustments, of course, a new sky, but I feel like we completely shifted the mood of the photo. And this is something I like to do when I'm playing around with images that I kind of like the idea of, but maybe the execution or the time of day, like the lighting and color weren't that great. You can do so many things in on one. You can just come in and absolutely reinvent a photo. And now I've got something that I like quite a bit. I think it's a nice looking image, but it's all because of my ability to adjust the light and the color and therefore shift the mood of the overall photo quick, easy, and fun, frankly, in on one. That's how I went about this one. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon. You guys take care, and until next time, adios.